Did you know that healing from narcissistic abuse isn't just about survival? It's about rediscovering the version of yourself you thought you'd lost. For many, the journey out of the darkness feels overwhelming, like trying to rebuild a shattered mirror. But here's the truth, those pieces can come together to create a reflection even more beautiful than before. If you want to truly reclaim your life, you need to stop believing the myth that time alone heals all wounds. Time helps, but it's what you do with that time that transforms pain into strength, sadness into joy, and confusion into clarity. In this video, we'll explore the steps to rebuild, renew, and reclaim your power. From understanding how to set boundaries to rediscovering your purpose, each section is a guide to breaking free from the shadows of the past and stepping into a future filled with joy, strength, and limitless potential. Avoid the mistake of thinking this healing journey is about anyone else. It's about you. So, are you ready to take the first step toward rewriting your story? Let's dive in. Number one, acknowledging the impact of narcissistic abuse. Imagine for a moment the warmth of a sunlit morning, peaceful, comforting, and full of potential. That's what relationships should feel like a space of safety and joy where growth is nurtured. But for those who've endured narcissistic abuse, this dream can quickly fade into something cold, confusing, and isolating. While it may seem like a heavy topic to dive into, there's an empowering truth beneath it all. Recognizing the impact of narcissistic abuse is the first step toward healing and reclaiming your life. Narcissistic abuse isn't always easy to identify. It's subtle, a gradual erosion of self-worth, often wrapped in moments of charm and affection. A narcissistic partner, friend, or family member may appear supportive or even loving at times, but their words and actions are often calculated to control, belittle, or manipulate. Over time, this leaves survivors questioning their own reality, trapped in cycles of self-doubt and shame. Many of you might be nodding along, feeling a familiar pang as these words resonate. Maybe it's the way a partner always seemed to shift blame onto you, making you feel like the problem. Perhaps it's the cutting remarks that were disguised as jokes or constructive criticism. The psychological toll is immense, often leaving scars deeper than physical wounds. Yet, acknowledging this impact isn't a sign of weakness. It's a powerful declaration of self-awareness and a refusal to be defined by someone else's cruelty. Think back to your childhood. Remember that unfiltered sense of joy, that unshakable belief in your worth. Maybe you can recall days spent laughing freely, unbothered by the opinions of others. Narcissistic abuse works to dim that light. But here's the thing, the essence of who you are hasn't disappeared. It's just waiting to be rediscovered. Recognizing what's been lost doesn't mean dwelling in pain. It's about reigniting the spark that makes you uniquely you. Now, picture a path winding through a dense forest. At first, it seems overwhelming. But as you continue walking, the trees thin and sunlight breaks through. That's what this journey feels like. Each step of acknowledgement is like clearing another branch out of the way. It's a process, but with every moment of clarity, the path becomes brighter and more navigable. The question that remains is, are you ready to take the first step toward reclaiming your light? Number two, reclaiming your power through awareness. Picture this standing on the edge of a cliff overlooking an endless ocean. The view is breathtaking, but beneath the surface, waves crash against jagged rocks. It's a striking metaphor for the inner turmoil left by narcissistic abuse, a seemingly calm exterior masking a storm within. But what if you could harness that storm, turning its chaos into a force for your own empowerment? That begins with awareness. Awareness is the foundation of reclaiming your power. Without it, the patterns of narcissistic abuse can remain a shadowy force, 
dictating your emotions and decisions. Think of how many times you've doubted yourself, questioned your instincts, or hesitated to trust others. These are the invisible chains of abuse, and awareness is the key that unlocks them. When you start to dissect the behaviors of a narcissistic abuser, you begin to see the patterns. Gaslighting, where your perception of reality is distorted. Love bombing, where affection is used as a tool of manipulation. And then there's the silent treatment, a calculated withdrawal designed to punish and control. Recognizing these tactics doesn't just give you clarity, it gives you the power to break free from their influence. Now, take a moment to reflect. Think about a time in your life when you felt truly in control. Maybe it was acing a test you studied for or nailing a presentation at work. That feeling of ownership over your achievements, do you remember how liberating it was? Awareness is similar. It's like seeing the pieces of a puzzle fall into place, revealing a picture you can finally understand. But awareness isn't just about identifying external behaviors, it's also about looking inward. How has this experience shaped you? What patterns have you unknowingly adopted as a defense mechanism? This introspection can be uncomfortable, but it's essential. It's like untangling a ball of yarn with patience and persistence, the knots unravel, leaving you with something whole and usable again. Imagine yourself a year from now, armed with this newfound awareness. Picture the confidence with which you'll navigate relationships, the strength in your voice as you assert your needs and boundaries. The beauty of awareness is that it doesn't just free you, it transforms you. What aspects of your life could you reclaim if you allowed this transformation to begin? Number three, the role of boundaries in healing. Imagine your home as a sanctuary, a space where you feel safe, valued, and at peace. Now, imagine that sanctuary without walls, open to the elements, vulnerable to anyone or anything that comes its way. That's what life can feel like without boundaries, especially after experiencing narcissistic abuse. But here's the good news. You have the power to rebuild those walls, stronger and more resilient than ever. Boundaries are more than just limits. They're acts of self-love and protection. They're the invisible lines that define what is and isn't acceptable in your life. For survivors of narcissistic abuse, setting boundaries can feel daunting. After all, abusers are masters of overstepping, convincing you that your needs don't matter, or worse, that asserting them is selfish. But let me tell you, reclaiming your right to boundaries is one of the most empowering steps you can take. Start small. Think about one aspect of your life where you feel overextended or taken advantage of. Maybe it's a friend who always expects you to drop everything for them or a co-worker who piles extra tasks onto your plate. Setting a boundary doesn't have to be confrontational. It can be as simple as saying, I can't help with this right now. The act of prioritizing your well-being sends a powerful message you are worthy of respect. Reflect for a moment. Can you recall a time when you didn't stand up for yourself and the regret lingered? Maybe it was allowing someone to interrupt you repeatedly or staying silent when someone crossed a line. These moments stick with us, not because we're weak, but because they highlight a gap between our actions and our values. Boundaries bridge that gap, aligning your external actions with your internal sense of self-worth. Now, let's fast forward. Imagine a life where your boundaries are firmly in place. Picture the relationships you'll cultivate, mutual, respectful, and fulfilling. Visualize the clarity and peace that come from knowing you're no longer tolerating behaviors that harm you. Boundaries are like a shield, not to keep people out, but to protect the space where your authentic self can thrive. What would it feel like to live with that kind of freedom and security? Number four, rediscovering joy and purpose. Imagine standing at the edge of a field bathed in the golden light of a setting sun. The air feels lighter 
your heart unburdened, and for the first time in what feels like forever, there's a sense of peace. This image, though seemingly distant, is closer than you think. Rediscovering joy and purpose after enduring narcissistic abuse is not just possible, it's your birthright. When trapped in a cycle of manipulation, joy feels like a fleeting memory. Abusers often drain your energy and redirect your focus entirely onto their needs, leaving you disconnected from the passions and pleasures that once lit up your world. But here's the truth. Joy isn't lost forever. It's merely waiting for you to reach out and reclaim it. Begin with small, intentional acts of self-discovery. What used to make you smile? Was it the smell of a new book? Dancing to your favorite song in the kitchen? These seemingly mundane moments are the threads of happiness. Start weaving them back into your life, even if it feels awkward or forced at first. Over time, these small sparks grow into a flame. As you rediscover joy, you'll begin to uncover a deeper sense of purpose. Purpose isn't something grand or unattainable. It's the quiet conviction that your life has meaning. For some, it's raising children with love and kindness. For others, it's pursuing a career that aligns with their values. Purpose often hides in plain sight, waiting for you to clear away the distractions and see it for what it is. Think back to a time when you felt deeply fulfilled. Maybe it was during a childhood hobby or a moment when you helped someone in need. That fulfillment isn't just a memory, it's a clue. Number five, finding strength in vulnerability. Imagine the sheer relief of letting down your guard after carrying an emotional weight for too long. Vulnerability often gets a bad reputation in a world that glorifies strength, but in reality, vulnerability is strength in its purest form. For survivors of narcissistic abuse, embracing vulnerability can feel terrifying, but it's also the key to true healing. Abusers weaponize vulnerability, making you feel weak or ashamed for expressing your emotions. This creates a survival mechanism where you build walls to protect yourself, locking away feelings of hurt, fear, and even love. While these walls may have kept you safe, they also kept you isolated. Reclaiming your strength begins with daring to let those walls down. Start by allowing yourself to feel. Cry if you need to. Laugh at something silly. Write down your thoughts without judgment. Vulnerability doesn't mean exposing yourself to everyone. It means being honest with yourself first. Over time, this honesty creates a foundation for deeper connections with others. Think about a time when someone shared something personal with you. Remember how it deepened your understanding of them and strengthened your bond. That's the power of vulnerability. It invites trust and intimacy, breaking the cycle of isolation that abuse often leaves behind. Now, imagine sharing a part of your story with someone you trust, a friend, a therapist, or a support group. Picture the weight lifting as you realize you don't have to carry it all alone. Vulnerability doesn't just heal you, it creates a ripple effect, inspiring others to embrace their own truths. Fast forward to a future where vulnerability is your superpower. You're no longer afraid to feel or to share, and instead, you're using your story to connect, inspire, and empower. What relationships could you build and what fears could you conquer if you leaned into the strength of your vulnerability? Number six, transforming pain into purpose. Picture a diamond formed under immense pressure deep within the earth. Its brilliance is a testament to the power of transformation. Similarly, the pain of narcissistic abuse, though deeply challenging, holds the potential to transform you into a version of yourself that shines brighter than ever before. Pain can feel like a dark cloud that follows you everywhere, overshadowing every aspect of your life. But what if, instead of avoiding it, you leaned into it? Pain, when acknowledged and processed, becomes a powerful teacher. It reveals your resilience, your capacity for growth, and the depth of your emotions. 
Begin by reframing your pain. Instead of seeing it as something that diminishes you, view it as something that has shaped you. What have you learned about yourself through this experience? Maybe it's your ability to endure, your sensitivity to others' feelings, or your desire to create change. These lessons are the seeds of your purpose. Think back to a time when you overcame a challenge. Remember how, in hindsight, that struggle taught you something valuable. The same principle applies here. By reflecting on your pain, you uncover insights that can guide you toward a more meaningful life. Now, consider how you can use these insights to help others. Perhaps you could mentor someone going through a similar experience, advocate for awareness about abuse, or channel your emotions into art, writing, or another creative outlet. Transforming pain into purpose doesn't erase it, but it gives it meaning, turning something destructive into something constructive. Picture yourself a year from now, using your story to uplift others. Imagine the fulfillment of knowing your journey has made a difference, not just in your life, but in the lives of those around you. What purpose could you uncover by allowing your pain to become your power? Number seven, rewriting your narrative for a new beginning. Imagine sitting at a blank canvas, paintbrush in hand. The possibilities are endless and the strokes you make are entirely up to you. That's the beauty of rewriting your narrative. It's an opportunity to start fresh, to define yourself not by what has happened to you, but by what you choose to create moving forward. Narcissistic abuse can make you feel like a character in someone else's story, controlled and manipulated at every turn. But the truth is, you are the author of your life. Rewriting your narrative starts with reclaiming that pen and deciding what story you want to tell. Begin by identifying the false beliefs the abuse may have planted in your mind. Maybe you were made to feel unworthy, incapable or unlovable. Challenge these narratives, write them down and replace them with affirmations of your strength, worth and potential. This isn't about ignoring the past. It's about reclaiming your identity and choosing how you define yourself. Think back to the stories you've heard about people who overcame adversity. Their pasts didn't define them, their actions did. These stories resonate because they remind us of the human capacity for reinvention. Your story is no different. What chapters will you write next? Now visualize the life you want to create. Picture yourself thriving, surrounded by supportive relationships, engaged in work or activities that fulfill you. Imagine waking up each day with a sense of purpose and peace. This vision isn't a fantasy, it's the roadmap for your new narrative. Fast forward to a future where your story is one of triumph and transformation. Imagine sharing it with others, inspiring them to rewrite their own. What legacy could you create if you let go of the past and fully embrace the author you were meant to be? If you've made it this far, you're already on the path to transformation. Drop a hundred in the comments to show you're part of the 0.01% who are committed to taking control of their lives and healing from the past. Your journey isn't just about surviving, it's about thriving and becoming the best version of yourself. You're already showing you have what it takes to rewrite your story. And I'm here for every step of the way with you. If you're serious about changing your life and continuing this journey of growth, make sure to subscribe to the channel. By joining, you're not just gaining access to more valuable content, you're becoming part of a community committed to living with purpose, strength and clarity. Don't wait, your new beginning starts now.